Oh, he'll help, he'll help you. Oh, yeah, yeah. One on me. Hold, hold the corner, hold the corner. <laughs> Good shot. Hey, flow in, get in here, get in here. HPA, or high pressure air, is hands down the most proficient way to power an airsoft gun. However, it does come with drawbacks. Unlike AEGs where your power source is carried inside your gun, most HPA users must carry their power source on their back, then connect it to their airsoft gun with a hose. For some, the tank and hose aren't an issue, but for others, it may be a deal breaker. I have used HPA in the past, but I find the tank and the hose a hindrance to ergonomics and ease of transport. The tank takes up a lot of precious backpack space. Compared to a battery, it's a lot of extra weight to carry around. The hose can be annoying when it comes to switching from left to right-handed shooting quickly. The hose also becomes snagged on branches, fences, and anything else you don't want it to get wrapped up in. Compared to batteries, the tank is also a hassle to travel with. If the event you are traveling to doesn't offer air fills, then you're on your own to find a paintball or airsoft shop close by that does. If you're traveling by air, your tank must be brought on as a carry-on item emptied with its regulator off, then it must be inspected by TSA. For those wanting the proficiency of HPA, but not the tank and hose, Polarstar has released a fantastic alternative called the Kythera. The Kythera system is a mechanically powered HPA engine that can be powered from a tank and hose, 12 gram or 33 gram CO2 cartridges. Here's my Kythera setup. The gun is a SEMA SR16 E3. Inside the gearbox is the Kythera SA V2 M4 M16 No. 1 nozzle. The Kythera trigger mechanism is designed to replicate the function, weight, and feel of a single action firearm. My trigger is set to a 3 pound brake, which is a tiny bit lighter than a standard AR 15. Replacing the buffer tube is my Polar Star UGS stock. With this stock, I can power my Kythera with either 12 gram or 33 gram CO2 cartridges. The UGS tube can accept any mil spec stock. For pickup games, I like to use the 12 gram adapter. It is much easier to carry around the smaller 12 gram cartridges in a pocket than the larger 33 gram cartridge. Replacing an empty cartridge can be done very quickly in game and without too much hassle. Other attachments on my SEMA SR16 E3 include a replica EOTech XPS2, 4x magnifier, a fake PEC-15, and replica M3X Lite with dual pressure pad switch. This setup is designed to be a close copy of a US Secret Service counter assault team member's rifle. Let's take a look at the Kythera in action in game. Oh, The Kythera is so quiet that sometimes it's hard to tell if you're shooting BBs. This is one detail of the Kythera though that I love. An airsoft gun this silent is ideal for stealthy type players. Go, 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 go. Five, respawn.
Watch your immediate left, Garrett. You ready to try this again? I'm gonna go with you this time. You know, bump, bump first. Yeah, why don't you bump up to uh, this corner? Go. See anything left? I see two. Okay, I'm gonna cover myself and then move up. Watch your left, watch your left. Watch your left, watch your left. A 12 gram CO2 cartridge can shoot around 150 to 175 BBs and a 33 gram can shoot around 500 BBs before it needs to be replaced. This game is about to end, but you can see how quickly you can change a 12 gram CO2 cartridge even under hurried conditions. The stock hop up in this SEMA was pretty awful, so I had it replaced with a Prometheus rotary style hop up chamber. Oh, headshot. It's safe right here. Bobby, you got three in the bus. Oh, four in the bus, five in the bus. I got your blind side right now, though. You're good. Roger that. Nice, Mark. Nice. Roger. I got one down on the bus. Bobby, you're clear to move forward, maybe. Hey, Bobby, if you hold that, I'm gonna move left and get to the bus. Roger that, hold it. Josh, where are you getting from? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. The bus right ahead of me. Yeah, here. Hang it down. The accuracy with the Prometheus hop-up is decent, but could be better when combined with a better inner barrel. Hit! Oh, I've got a BB in my shoe. One single BB in my boot. Larry. All right. Oh, there's a lot over there. You said there's a minute left? All right, I'm not even gonna bother walking back. Favorite feature of these PTS EPM1s is the orange BB indicator. Just by glancing at my magazine, I can see I'm low on BBs and should reload. If you have been considering building an HPA powered gun, but don't want to contend with a hose and a tank, the Kythera may be right for you. The Kythera engine is available for version 2 M4 M16 gearboxes, version 3 AK gearboxes, and version 2.5 A and K JG SR25 gearboxes. 
I have been extremely satisfied with my current Kythera and would love to build an SR25 platform. If you use a Kythera engine in your airsoft gun, let us know what you like or don't like about it in the comments. That's going to wrap up this video, and as always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. Hit. Darkness of an indoor field, that flashing light is a lot brighter and it gives you that effect of like, you know, when you're when you're indoors and then you go outside into the bright sun and your eyes have to adjust, it's like that, but it's like this constant kind of strobing effect. Obviously, 